My name is Lowski. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. And we doing an interview about the squeegee. Feel me? Squeegee hustlers, squeegee kids, aggressive, aggressive panhandlers, whatever you want to Yeah, yeah, yeah. West Baltimore. West Baltimore. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. But I want the whole city in town. I mean, sometimes, like, squeegee kids, like, we all know we, we not kids, everybody not kids. It's just like 12 o'clock boys. You feel me? How we, the dirt bike riders, all of them is not kids and children. We know that it's grown men riding dirt bikes. So it's the same type concept, squeegee kids, 12 o'clock boys. You feel me? We all know that squeegee kids, not all squeegee kids. So, I mean, I don't, I don't really feel type of way, but at first I did until I really thought about it, like how I just put it into that concept. So, it don't bother me. Squeegee is just, it's a way for us to, just to get money without breaking the law completely. Some people might say it's, a, it's illegal. Some people might say it, we, ain't, we ain't harming nobody. It's just like, it's a, bu it's, a, it's a bunch of young folks. I mean, all us not kids, of course, but we could be doing a lot of other things. We could be robbing, we could be selling drugs. We could be just doing a lot of illegal activity. But we, we, we choosing to just to post out on the corner and, and, and wash the windows for a tip. If people want to tip us, a lot of people respect our hustle, a lot of people disrespect our hustle. But people going to think whatever they want. So it don't even really matter. I've been squeezing for about, about three years, two and a half years, on and off. So, and about two months ago, two, three months ago, I actually got sliced. Had to get eight staples in my back. So I done been through some stuff uh, with knives and, and just sharp objects. Squeezy, it provides all type of resources. Because you come, we come across people that you, we come across people that you only gonna see in traffic. So we, we get to, we get to network, we get to promote whatever we got going on as far as our entrepreneurship other than squeezy. We get to just a, just a, Interact with people. It teaches us patience because we hear we hear no a thousand times a day. It teaches us patience. It teaches us consistency, persistency, resilience to keep to keep going. So it's it's a lot of life lessons in squeezing that people don't that people fail to realize. When I hear the word no, it can affect me in a negative way sometimes because it depends on how my day going. So if I hear no. I just keep I just keep it moving because I can hear no a thousand times, but that one yes can be fifty dollar bill, hundred dollar bill, twenty dollar bill. So I just keep it moving. I mean, like when some people hear no and they react negative, negatively, it's just like it can like it, it can go back to how that person they going. It can go back to how the person who called it said no. So sometimes it's not what you say is how you say it, but it just sometimes it, 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 people just be ignorant. Sometimes on both behalves, sometimes we can be ignorant. Sometimes the people can be ignorant. So it's just all about how you say things or it's all about how the person they going or just people just, they just be doing too much sometimes. So, well, as far as like the cash app and the, and the cash app scams, like I don't condone in it, me personally, you feel me? But like, it's just like people be giving people their phones. Like why are you giving somebody your phone to, to type their cash app in or to, to send yourself some cash at. So you just gotta be, you gotta be mindful on both behalves. Like, we should, if somebody being nice to us and give, they, give us their phone, we shouldn't be scamming people for their money. And, and if you, and if you trying to help somebody with cash at, you shouldn't be giving somebody your phone. You being nice. So that's how you can avoid cash at scams. Don't give nobody your phone. If you don't have it, just keep it moving. So, I just think Baltimore as a city can help with guidance and resources. It's just about, School. I think it started in school. We should have a spirituality class. We should have just like just more, more adequate, more adequate classes, more, more life, life skill classes to help the young men and to, to become better men. For for those who, who don't have that 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 firm foundation in their house. So I think it started in school. You feel me? So that's that's a way that Baltimore City can help the youth become better young men rather than criminal minded, petty thieves, scamming. And just, so it started school. I, that's why I believe it stuff. How I make a transition from the street and just taking what I want and to convert into a hustler 
It's just by, I wanna say like karma. Like sometimes like you got you can't take what people earn. People work hard for what they what they what they earn. You feel me? So it's easy to take. That's easy. I don't like what's easy. You feel me? It's hard to stay down. It's hard to, to save your money, stay down and, and go out and grind every day. So I just I just wanted a more a more unique, a more you feel me, genuine occupation, you feel me, way of getting money. So I decided just to be an entrepreneur and be a hustler and, and, and to work for what I want. And you feel me, good karma. I mean, a squeezy worker, we make, it's, it's unpredictable because like I always say, you can go to a car, they can give you a dollar bill, or you can go to a car, they can give you $50 or a $100 bill. Do you got 20s, 10s, and 5s throughout the whole time? So it's all about how you stay out there. Some days you can leave with, a good day you can leave with 300. A bad day you can leave with $100. In between days you can 150 to 200. So it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty good amount of money. It's just all about how long you stay out there and how you move in traffic. I think I'm great at Sweezy. I, I mean, it's not that hard, of course, you feel me? But I had plenty of time to perfect my craft. Like when I first started, I actually was Sweezy and backwards. So I would smear the windows a lot, you feel me? So it's just like sometimes when people when we wash people's windows and it, and it might be smeared or something, it can be if people have chemicals already on a window, or it can be the chemicals in your bottle that you're using to spray on the window. So it can be bad chemical reactions which, which make people's windows smeared. So you do gotta, it is a certain way you do gotta squeeze it for it to be film people's window they can see clear. If people wanna feel safe and have it more organized, you can put a, it's nothing to put a police patrol car on the corner, just to, you feel me, the, the watch. Feel me? so people can feel safe and tip us, you feel me? So that's, that's, that's one way that they can really just work with us instead of trying to work against us, you feel me? So 